on the workbench today for my video number 600. This is my 600th video. I have a, a JVC made uh, VCR. This is a Magnavox. Put in the tape. And here's what it does. So it's playing back the hi-fi audio channel. I have no picture. So let's get the top off this thing. I've removed the screws. So the first thing I have to determine is whether we've got any RF coming off the head preamp. So I'm just going to scope my RF test point here. A little bit of staring at the uh, board here. We have two test points. We have our RF and we have our chroma. There's our RF going in as we can see. The waveform's not perfect but we've got RF going in. Let's look at the chroma test point now. Chroma test point is, uh, I think it's this one here. Yeah, it looks like I've got color bars. That looks like it could be my chroma. So I've got my test points are there. I've got I've got signal coming off the head amp. So I know that the heads are okay. We'll just look at the signal from here. I'm just tracing it by eye and it goes into this other little board here. I think it's this one here. Yeah, there's our that's our input. So this is so this board here, there's a board along the side. I'm just going to take the circuit board out because there's another board running vertical here. This is our demodulator board. This is where our video is modulated and demodulated from the uh, from the the RF from the head amp. So I'm just going to take the board out here and we'll take a look at that board. I'm remove some screws. Now these these JVC units. There's actually a little little hole in the back here, right there, that actually will fit over a little little tab. And there's another one on the other side that will allow the board to stand up. If you get a close look at this here, there's a cutout in the back that fits around this post, and there's a hole here, so you can actually stand the board up. That way, you can work on this thing, extend all your wires. Okay, once we've got the board in position like this for servicing, it's it's great because I can now probe the board and I can see where we're losing a signal. I know that where signal is getting onto this board here, as I can uh, I can see it going into this board. So let's uh, start probing this board with our scope and see if we can find where the signal is where we're losing it. It's obviously going to be going into this IC here. This is going to be our our luminance chroma processor we've got a that's going to be a delay line that's going to be part, probably in the comb filter circuit uh, it's got a couple capacitors on here there's a couple filters on here as well um, we could have a problem well it could have a problem anywhere it could have a problem with one of these filters could be the chip itself ah unlikely could be a bad cap i guess um could be an open coil We'll figure it out. Let me just get uh, my test gear in here and we'll do some tests on this thing and see if we can find where we're losing our signal. Okay, the part, it's JCP0034. That is the main Luma Chroma processor. Uh, we know that it's a Luma Chroma processor because you see we've got our crystal right here, which is for our color. Um, so we know that this is going to be the, the IC that does all the processing. Whether this IC is what the problem is or not, that's what we're going to find out. I cannot find any data on this chip. I just spent the last 20 minutes doing some research to find out if I could even find a pinout for this thing, but I'm not in any luck. Uh, maybe if I can find a manual for this machine, it'll give me the pinout, but I haven't gone that far yet. I just searched the IC to see if I could get a pinout, and there was nothing. Okay, so I'm going to start by probing the chip. Okay, let's, uh, let's just... Let's just go through here. I'll start at pin number one and we'll see whether I've got any signals here that will indicate, oh, I got something going in there. I got, I got some RF there.
Well, something there. Definitely something there. Okay, that's a switching pulse there. Okay, what do we got here? That looks like chroma. Definitely looks like chroma. So something's alive in this chip. Oh yes, definitely. We have some action in this chip, so I think the, the chip is probably okay. Now, I haven't found video yet. I've just found what looks like chroma. Let's look on the other side here, on the other pins. See if I can get video. Hard to get the probe in here with uh, the tight spacing. RF. So that's our RF going in, I think. Definitely seeing I'm seeing some signals here. I'm not seeing my stair step that I would expect to see from color bars. I'm seeing what looks more like chroma showing up here. Okay, I've got my video. This is coming off the chip. I can't even barely see this thing. My eyes are getting real bad for the real close up stuff. But this is off of, uh, what pin is that off that chip? So I've got video here on my board. There's my video, but I have nothing on my, my monitor. It's going to take a close look and see what uh, pin number that is off the IC, I'll tell you. So there's our video signal. It, it comes out pin number 14 and tracing the uh, traces on the board, it comes up on this filter here onto pin number 1. I'll show you where I am here. Okay, where are we? I'm, I'm, I'm tied down to pin number 14 here and you can see we've got video on the scope and it's supposed to come up over here on pin number one and I, I have some signal there but I don't have the, the oh, interesting I don't have the whole signal there see I kind of cut in and out there um, I'm wondering if we could maybe have a bad trace I'm just going to look at that board and see whether there's a trace that is bad there because we may have a bad trace or we may even have a bad filter on this thing but uh, we definitely have video coming off of this and I traced it over to pin number one onto the board here now if I go over to pin number one and I look at it on this side I've got nothing I've got nothing going in okay here's pin one which is the input signal for this this filter and I don't know if you guys can see it or not I'm just looking for something to point with here the trace, the trace goes under this little resistor right here. Of course, now the camera's going to focus on my hand. Let's see if I can do that manually. Okay, so there's signal goes in here on pin one where I'm pointing with my fingernail. The the signal goes underneath this little resistor here, and it's right in here is where I've been probing, and I sometimes get a signal and sometimes I don't, but I've got a good signal back here on pin 14 which is uh, back over it was already running here somewhere I had a good signal right on this there was a resistor here right in here I had a good signal pin 14 anyway had a good signal there 
I don't have a good signal here. I'm just going to put a jumper wire between here and the other end of where that uh, trace goes and we'll see if that uh, fixes the problem. It might be underneath this chip resistor. It may be because they typically glue these things down and maybe the board's been damaged or something. But I'm just going to put a jumper wire between pin one and the other end of that trace, which I know is hard to see on camera, but it, it's back over here. Okay, I've now placed my jumper wire here to jumper the trace from uh, R915 over to pin number one. Let's see how it works. There we go. That was the problem. That trace underneath the resistor here. The problem was I had a signal here coming off the IC but I did not have a signal on pin one going into the filter. If you look at the trace, the trace actually goes underneath. If you follow the trace it goes underneath this green resistor here and works its way along and ends up over there. So somewhere between here and here I had lost continuity and that was killing the video so that was all it needed to fix the problem my cat my tape is playing perfect it's playing in hi-fi thanks for watching